and go. Welcome back to this segment of trails that intersect so nicely. This is the wedding trail down this way, which we saw in our last session. This is horse piss trail still. Nobody's cleaned it up yet. And this is the start of Paul's trail. A wonderful single track that'll take us clear over to mm, almost Cave Creek and Thunderbird. And we'll talk about little highlights along the way. Hello friends! We've made it a little bit of a ways around Paul's Trail and we are overlooking the golf course, Lookout Mountain Golf Course, and there's Lookout Mountain way over that away. Paul's Trail comes down the hill to the west of us, skirts along the edge of the golf course, don't ride on the golf course or hike on the golf course. Um, comes over to this little dark patch of Palo Verde trees and whatnot right there by Thunderbird. And there's an underpass under there that'll take you over to the trails that go through the golf course. And yes, you can walk on those, stay off the greens, etc. unless you brought the ball and clubs with you. Um, through there and around and about, and the path takes you over to Lookout Mountain. It looks like a sketchy area, but it's not all that bad. Mainly because I've been whitewashing over the graffiti and things, but you know, it's one of the ranger jobs that you get to do. And Jim, someday we might ride that. We might. Yes, indeed. We just might ride that. It is kind of a fun little trail. Howdy again, pilgrims. We're here on Paul's Trail, a little bit further east. We're overlooking Thunderbird Road, a little smidge of golf course. And somewhere down in that flattish valley was the remains of a gas station and convenience store, maybe the world's first Circle K, maybe. 
it's all been cleaned up, taken out by your friendly park rangers. Um, but yeah, there was there was all sorts of nasty stuff down in there. So there's a vantage point to check out sometime. Uh, we're headed for Cave Creek Road. Short of that, staying on trails. Um, and we'll find something else to talk about when we get there. Yes, just look at that lovely trail surface. So this is a new and improved section of Paul's Trail that Paul never thought of. Paul's Trail goes across to that point where the uh, barrel cactuses are sticking up into the air and makes far too sharp of a turn, thank you Paul, uh, and comes down here. But horse piss trail goes down the hill over there and the dueling javelinas trail crew came out here and says, boy, we can make this better. So we put these stones in as pavers and I specified a herringbone pattern, but it didn't come out. Um, put all these in, protected this cactus, made this slightly banked turn and it reconnects with Paul's trail and heads eastbound. Eastbound and down, loaded up and trucking. No, wrong movie. Anyway, this is a great hunk of work. And this will last forever. There you go. Friends, be very careful riding through this section of Paul's Trail. We're below Thunderbird, we're short of Cave Creek, and right there is Shelob's Lair. Remember the big spider? Lord of the Rings. Paul is a fan of Lord of the Rings. We took all the scrap metal that we found at that abandoned gas station site and, hmm. What'll I do with all this? I bent it and shaped it and welded it into a spider. Barely fit in the back of my eight foot bed, clunky old 64 Ford pickup. Brought it here, carried it down from that location. 55 gallon drum for the main body, legs. I still got the head. Now the folks from North Mountain Visitor Center have removed my spider but I'm gonna get with them and bring it back and attach her head so she'll be complete. So you're riding through here, you glance to the side and just check on something out of the corner of your eye, it's a spider! <gasps> Just 
Just a moment ago Been on the perfect go Kept following birthday view I'm not told that I'm going to leave and step behind All the things people do as if it's all of mine Just a moment ago